Hello and welcome to Inside Pools production of the Great Southern Billiard Tour. We're here at Michael's in Cincinnati. You're well, we have a $1,500 added event, and we're watching the hot seat match with Jay Copeland and Mike Grooms. Jay is in the black T-shirt, and Mike is in white. This race is nine to seven, with Mike Grooms going to nine. I'm JR. I'm JR Calvert. Joining me here in the booth is Alvin Nelson with Inside Pool Magazine. Great to be with you guys. Glad to be commentating with JR again. He knows what he's talking about. Helps out a lot. I actually make a lot of it up on the fly, and it's just a lot of made-up stuff, and it just happens to come true, so you know, <laughs> I, get, I get lucky. Yep. Well... We've been clocking the break speed on a lot of these matches. Now, again, I'm kind of interested in what kind of seven makes it to the finals of one of these events. Absolutely. If you're Mike Grooms, you've got to be asking yourself that, too, unless he's familiar with Jay. Now, Jay is about 6'2". Looks like he's about 225. He does not look like he's going to hit him soft. I'm predicting he's probably got... 23, 24 mile an hour break, and it looks like even though he's, you know, a seven, I think he's going to have a little bit of control. See where he breaks from. He's going to go for the. Uh, he's definitely going for the side, but the look break. at this. Not he's he's not breaking break. actually from the rail, no, even though he's, he's in the rail position. This is the right side to play off. This uh, rat though. Twenty-five point four nine miles per hour. That might put a hurting on some people. Unfortunately, he lost his rock. You know sure what they did. say about that? Lose your rock, sleep in the streets. Guys like Mike are just going to eat him alive if he doesn't do this. Yep. And I, I predict he's going to have a lot of four ball in his future. Yeah. As Mike puts the one down there for the one nine combo if Man. he wants to do it. But I think a player like Mike is going to use this easy rack if they're, if he, if Jay doesn't hit this, he's going to use his easy rack, kind of get that first game right. under his belt and, you know, smoothly go through the rack and pocket a bunch of easy balls to get set in the match. Yeah, I mean, the, the one ball is really small here. The other part about where he's left a one is that's a left-handed combination shot, not a right-handed. He wouldn't want to do that. Well... We're going to see if he wants to shoot that combination because he's going to he's going to have his option. But I I really think he's going to Put run a work. couple of simple balls. Yeah. The only thing that he has to worry about is from the five to the six. I think he's that's the biggest transition because the nine is a big ball when he tries to come around the table. I think he's going at the combo here, which I don't like at all. He's stretching, but, uh, you know, nine's froze to the rail. We'll see whether he wants to get a quick game and uh, send a message. Sure did. There you go. Made it look easy, too, didn't he? Yeah, what took you so long there, Mike? Come on. Yeah. Speed this up. That's it. <laughs> well, it's going to make our job easy. Now, Mike's been breaking in the 24 to 25 mile per hour range, too. And for those of you at home, that's that's about what it looks like on on the screen it's a pretty good break uh mike has a little bit more control than jay that might uh, account for a couple of games i don't know when i saw mike miss that kick i wasn't really sure you know what kind of player he is but that was a tough tough kick it really wasn't anything to judge anybody over yeah the, the one ball was nowhere near the, the rail which gives some kind of uh, assistance to hitting the ball it was kind of out in the middle of the table. Well, here we go. Okay, he's kind of breaking from the box area. Now, keep in mind, he played on this last set. Yeah, he knows what's going on and with it. Pretty decisive break, victory. Yeah, this guy knows how to break from anywhere. Looks like he broke those at... 22.06 took a little bit off of him. Yeah, well, breaking from the box hasn't been producing, from what I've seen, very many balls on the break. 
on this table. Definitely didn't want to do that. Interesting that he's going for the Massé here. Hmm. I might have kicked at that ball, but he had pretty good results here. He didn't really sell the farm yet, though I think that it's going to be a big collision going on here. Yeah, that there's something yeah, going down. Well, now what? <laughs> Jay is having a rough start here. <laughs> he's he's got to get out of the sand here real quick. And I'll be honest, I would be looking to, to see if there's a way to tie something up before I kicked at this ball. He's yeah, just he's getting just down and looking. kicking at it. He's Looks kicking like at it very it. smartly, too. What great. a great shot. Yeah. Great shot. That's a seven, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's some guys that are probably scratching their heads going, how good is this guy? Mm -hmm. That was a great shot. I think he's going to just put him behind the eight, though, here. And I think all that did was prolong the agony. Yep. Oh, he's going to go behind a seven. Yeah. Just as good. Putting it by a pocket, too. Pushing them towards the pockets. And Mike's playing smart pool. He just wants Jay to, to win a game. He doesn't want to give Jay any games. He wants him to actually win it. These guys seem pretty friendly, like they uh, they deal with mm. each other sometimes. No, nope. yeah. Ball in hand. Well, the good news is, is this ball in hand probably isn't going to result in a combination on a 1-9. Uh, bad news is, is that these balls couldn't be any more wide open. Uh, from the five to the seven, once he flops over onto that rail where that two ball is now, this is just, it, it's nothing for anybody, even a seven in this tournament to really worry about. Well, you know, He'll probably just pull the cue ball back almost exactly where he's at. He doesn't want to go too much further because he wants to get below the fours line to the corner pocket so that he can take that nine out of the game. He does that, he'll be able to position himself in the center of the table for the five without any obstructions. Uh, that's a little bit further than what I thought he was going to go, and I'm not really certain I like that shot. Because by that doing that shot, he now has to. Got to go up table. Well, he, he has to table. worry about the nine ball when he's pocketing the four to get to the five, and that was he didn't want to do that. Stroked his way out of it. Nice. Like I said, I don't think he wanted to draw so much the last time. And, and he's still not out of the woods now. Right. He's going to have to follow this ball or draw his ball and do something. He's, he's going to have to follow it and hope he misses the nine because you can get into trouble hitting the nine. But he'll just follow two rails and come out to the center of the table with high left is what how I think I'd play this. But he may draw it. This it, guy's a great, depend great pool player, I can tell. He's making mistakes, but he's getting getting back into where he needs to be. There you go. Now, well, 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 he'll be all right. He'll be able to hit that second rail down there in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, that second portion of the long rail there. He doesn't want to necessarily get straight, but he wants to get down there near straight because he doesn't want to have so much of an angle that he has to kill the seven ball. Right. I actually think he's just he's straight in enough that he might just just draw yeah. back to about where his the the forearm of his cue is right now. 
Oh, look at this. I think he's going to be up table now. He may be blocked. Well, Mike, more power to you, buddy. I think you've managed to get on the wrong side of every ball to this <laughs> rack. Every ball. To, he he wins this rack. He should he should feel like he's done something. Mm -hmm. He just needs to roll up a little bit, huh? Oh yeah. Do nothing else with the cue ball. Just throw some top spin on it. Float it a little bit, a few inches. Yeah, he's he's just going to try and flop off the rail two or three inches. Use the rail as a nice handle, and that way he can just cut the eight ball in and let it roll. Yeah, he's stuck on the rail. The reason that you don't want to do it that way is, first off, most people lose the center of the cue ball when the cue ball goes against the rail. Yeah. And you start to English this ball, and it can you can miss his ball trying to English it. Right, because it throws off. But an experienced player like like Mike is yeah. probably going to know where the center of the cue ball sure. is. Sure. He's going to know where it's going to land. He's going to hit it with a high left ball. Man, and he hit that. Just let it float down there. He's going to stay out of the pocket and not get caught by the, the edge well, there. Never a doubt, Mike. Good shooting, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> this game could go pretty quick the way it's looking. Yeah, he got out of a, a bear trap there. Well, if you're Jay, you're you're saying, wait a minute, what do I got to do? Now I got to play this guy even, and he just made one of the most backwards outs ever. Yep. He, uh, I think he knew before the match I was talking with him for a few minutes, and he said, yeah, this guy plays really good. So he was under no illusions. That... Well, the scouting report on him that he's a great player, uh, everybody around here confirms that in the 70s and 80s he was somewhat of a legend. Yeah, now you can tell too. He plays like a pro. Yeah. Certain, I mean, a, a one that hasn't played in years, but has still got it. Well, he has a smooth touch, and yeah, he knows how to pocket balls from all over the table. Trust me, you're allowed to get on the wrong side of the ball three or four times during an out. I see pros do that every set, and it happens. And there's not a darn thing that you can do about it. You just try and play the percentages. Twenty-four. 24.89. <laughs> Pretty healthy little smash there. Now, if you're Jay, you're going, wait a minute. I racked these balls. <laughs> I broke these balls darn near 25 miles per hour. How come I can't get a shot? How come I can't make a ball? Not controlling the cue ball. Well, it was a pretty hard smash. I'm saying that yeah. you're allowed to let Whitey run all over the table and make a ball or two at a 25 mile an hour break. This is kind of a rattler here. Well, he's just going to hit this with a nice soft follow. That's what you need to do. Right. And he, he let it get away from him. I think, you know, a little bit more pace than that is what I'm thinking. He rolled that ball down there. I would have hit it with a little bit more pace. Yep. Let it fall down to the bottom rail and straighten out and get on that two as straight as I could. That's gonna Jay, pop. that ain't going to go, buddy. No, no, Mike's going to punish him for this one. He's scratching his head like it's punishment time, guy. Well, he, he kind of let shot. his stick fall into the rest there. I'm starting to see some frustration being built. Yep. And this might be where experience can really kill Jay. Because if, if Mike has been a player for decades, obviously. We're looking at a guy that not only knows how to play pool, but he knows how to compete in a tournament. He knows how to get inside a guy's mind. Yeah, I, I would never be able to beat this guy. No way. No way. Well. Okay, he moved the ball, but uh, the other guy's going to say it's okay. He yeah, Jay's giving him the wave. Jay, yeah, Jay seems too. like a, uh, you know, stand-up dude. He's just saying, hey, I, whatever, go ahead. Yeah. You know, he's, he's not going to try and jump up there and move no. the ball on him or anything. doesn't strike me as that. It was real nice. I was talking to him before the match. And real cool dude. Yeah, definitely cool guy. Got a nice touch game. The nice thing besides having a nice smooth stroke is he, he has a variety of strokes. He likes to use angles and use a smoother stroke. He tunes but, in real good. But he punches when he needs to punch, and he flows when he needs to flow. And having those two strokes, those are the two strokes in pool. A smooth flowing stroke and a punch stroke. 
And some guys, when they're younger, all they have is the punch stroke, and they never learn that smooth stroke. And that's the difference in pocket speed or, you know, tr blasting it through the back right. of the pocket. Force in the angle with speed. Che oh, cheating the deflection or whatever. <laughs> Well, this one he has a little bit of a window that he has to get in, and yeah, he, kind of he tried that. to angle it and English it up in there, and it, it got over on him. He knows that he doesn't like that, the results there. That wasn't what he was looking for. But, uh, you know, for the most part, honestly, Jay has to get up and put this cue ball on the back of the eight and bank it five down to the bottom rail here. If he doesn't do this, Mike's going to smell blood. <laughs> I mean, he could hit the other side of it and run all the way around three rails below the 6-9 and use that. That might be a smarter shot. But he's supposed to be playing a nasty safe here. And he got double kissed into the hole. Wow. And if you're Mike, you just went in the back of your mind, I got you. Yep. The I key, got you. The key to the, the, key to the uh, handcuffs has been put in Mike's pocket now. Mm. straight no 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 he's That's fine. An angle there he actually wanted to be straighter because I think he was going to try and shoot back. the drawback and get in that little triangle where he can shoot the seven into the upper left hand corner of your screen now without that he has to look at the combination possibilities now the problem with that is is that the real position for the combinations is near the center of the table almost exactly in the center of the table may be a little bit higher but He's got to follow this ball three rails to get out there, which he's not going to like unless he spins it like that. Great shot. I can see this guy in the finals. It's, he put that ball exactly where it needs to be. Yeah. He's just a hair higher of center of the table. I think no. this guy's going to win the tournament, man. Yeah, it's not he's a doubt. He's the best player I've seen play on the TV table. Exactly. I think he'd give anybody a run for their money. Now, he's, he's looking at the angle. Now, this is, again, where you, how far away you are from the ball means everything. And he got in the right place. Let's see how well he controls this seven ball now. Jumped up on that shot. Sure did you did. see how Absolutely. he came up out of that shot? Yep. He was uncomfortable. But you see what he did with the seven there? Yeah, he moved it out where he wanted it. He was looking at putting it. And that's the sad part is you missed the, the eight ball, but you're Makes getting position shape. on the seven for the guy. <laughs> well, I think Mr. Copeland is, uh, a, you know, relieved to get back to the table on this game and even have the opportunity to put a notch on his side of the table. Yeah, it's looking like what's going to happen here. Let's see if he rushes this shot. I've seen this shot missed once or twice already in this tournament. All right, buried it right in the hole. Hit a little bit harder than what I would have liked to have seen somebody hit it getting their first game, but maybe he's trying to send a message. think Alvin uh, where's he gonna break from how hard is he gonna hit him he's gonna break from the box again and he's gonna hit him about 23 yeah he's over in the side but not he's still in the box a 23 a little light 24.05 miles per hour Boy, the cue ball moves from the end of his cue into that rack in about a quarter, you know, a thousandth of a second, man. He doesn't look like he's doing a lot there, but he really he really puts a wallop in on that cue ball. Well, he just controls it so well, it doesn't look crazy. Well, he's a solid guy, and, uh, yeah. you know, he doesn't really need to move his body so much. He just needs to yep. 
push through that break. Jay's going to take a look here at the lay of the backyard. He might just shoot this one into the three deuce, real soft, like that. Let the cue ball go all the way down the table. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't uh, get hide behind the eight like he wanted to there. The eight nine's tied up, but I'm I'm sorry. I'm probably going to look at shooting this combination because sure. I'm going to get to cut the one ball less than what it looks like because of the combination. And both balls will go up, and I could see keeping both underneath the four ball. The only thing I'd worry about is where the three would go, whether it blocked part of the hole. But I think that this this is a real wired three ball combo. Yep. Just hit it with some speed. Oh. Well, he saw something there that I didn't see, and he got jumpy too. He threw his cue off. He didn't. He didn't uh, commit to it. Looks like he can carry him off into the two if he wanted to. Well, not a lot he can do here that I like. So, uh, I mean, there's certain times when you have to shoot a shot that you don't like, and this is it. So the only thing you can do is just switch places. Yeah, I think he left him a window, but I'm not. No, I'm looking right down the line. He cannot see it before in the way. Well, he can see an edge of it. Yeah, it's edge just. Uh, when he does this, he can hit that edge, and I would hit it. Well, he's going to try and jump it, curve it. I don't think that turned out the way he liked. But there's no simple pocket for the one ball, so. Yeah, but there's so many options. I think Jay can figure this out. And uh, Roll up safety. Yeah, you know, Jay's, Jay's you know, like I said, he, he may not be a seven, you know, for much longer. Sure. You know, he's he plays this game pretty well. You can see the way he's striking the ball and the way he thinks. What he's even trying to do is the next level. Now, he's going to try and go three rails here. I agree with this. It's just you. there is some sides that I'd want to make sure the one ball that I'd want to hit. That was the way I would have looked to play it because I wouldn't have wanted the cue to get in behind the, the one ball there. The only problem is I think I would have played a little bit softer because I'd have been worried about scratching any other side. fan of this 6-7 combination, but it's not that bad because while you make the 7, the 6 is going to shoot to the upper right-hand corner of the ta table at where the 5 ball is now. Uh, now, I'm not a big fan of where he got on this ball at all. Uh, he's either got to dig down and get this ball up out of there, or he's got to follow, which means he's probably going to go straight towards the 6-7, which I, I don't like either one. Right. Okay, so he's cutting across this the wrong direction. This is how bang, how combinations are missed. He's putting the equivalent of inside English on this. And he has a better chance of hitting the bottom rail with this seven than what you would ever think. Yeah, he needs to play safety here. No, no he, can, he can play the shot. He just needs to know that he's on the wrong side of it. See how he hit the bottom rail a hair because yep. of that inside English portion. 
he's looking at the corner that the six was going to go into. It's everything's the same. It's just you have to cut it a little bit thinner than what you would think. Um, Those balls, when they're that close, they still act like they're frozen. Huh? Even though they're only a ball away, combinations they will act like they're frozen at that stage. It's a little trick that uh, I have figured out. And when you treat them like that ball's going to throw, you'll you'll make that combination much much more often. Well, Mike got pretty good on this. He's a little jacked up with a back cut, but well, you know, big. he's not going to be jacked up. He's going to be able to cue right between that space between the edge of the nine and the rail and use a level cue and just follow out to the center of the table. Yeah, sure is. Oh, he's a little jacked up, and I think it's because he wants to get into the center of the ball and roll this ball up there. Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Evil pockets will get you. Oh, he hit three diamonds up. He shouldn't have made that ball, and he knew that. Now, he was trying to dig in that way so that he wouldn't lose control of the cue ball and he could keep that feel that he wanted to have on that seven ball. His own knowledge of the game was what caused him to miss that shot. He knew what he needed to do. And just like that, here comes Jay, ready to pick up what Mike is willing to let him have. He's going down into the haunted pocket. Let's see if he evil. rolls this in or smacks it in. Rolled it in. He Getting, was close enough. He, he was close enough, but uh, those guys that are going to want to smack those balls home and pronounce that they won the game, or we've found that that's already cost those right. guys a few games. Yep, been seeing that over and over here. At Michaels, nice pool room here in Cincinnati. Yeah, some of the members of the chat are agreeing with me on allowing for the throw when you have a combination where the balls are, you know, within a ball of each other. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're cutting across it and you're putting inside English on that ball. That'll really, really, really show up. Well, I know everybody's probably enjoying your commentary, JR. I guarantee they are. I am. Well, thank you. Yep. Thank you. I feel like I'm playing with my rattle in the sandbox, though. <laughs> so... <laughs> Don't worry about it. I like somebody commentating that has about the same level of play I have. <laughs> we all start somewhere. Baby steps, baby steps. Twenty-seven point oh two miles an hour. He he got into those ones, and if you see what he did, he really hit the cue ball square in the center. That's why I got a little extra speed out of it. Popped that Brock right back and took it back to where he knew he was going to have a shooting gallery. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, though, uh, got to make a ball. Mike's switching up and going left-handed on us here. Uh, yeah. Huh. Okay, well. Well. You don't want to give this guy, Jay, too many. Even though he's a seven, you don't want to give him too many chances, I'll tell you that much. Well, I think the one goes by the four ball there. It's just that position on the two. I think he's probably going to he's gonna have far. a little bit more problem than what he thinks. Yeah, he's rolling too far. Look at this. He got through the on the way down but couldn't get it on the way up, and that's what he had to do. He was almost perfect. If, if he gets the better kiss off the seven, he's probably out. You know, he's shooting it like he has all the room he needs, so we'll see. I guess he had more than what he needed. He put him right on the back of the three. I'm pretty sure that was intentional. Yeah, I think he was playing that safety. Just downright nasty. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a great shot. It was. <laughs> well, what do you see as far as a kick here? Short rail to the bottom rail and then into the two. Try to go into the cue ball into the center of the short rail down. Soft the kick. He might be... Uh, like that. Yep. Different. He might be trying... See, the reason that he wanted to use two rails is not only is it a bigger ball, but at the same time, he could cue that ball without being jacked up and trying to do high cue. So that was a smart shot.
I'm looking at Mike in his seat and he has that determined I don't want to let this match slip away look in his eye. Yeah, looks like he's having fun though. I think that's the most important part, he's enjoying himself. Well, I can tell you, you know, like I said, I think Jay is, he's hes not going to be a seven much longer. No. And Mike is a great, great player. This, this race, Mike might win, but I don't think Jay needs to be a seven much longer. Yeah. And Jay might win, but that doesn't mean Mike's probably not one of the best players in this room. Absolutely. Mike's watching the table too. He's not wandering all over the table pool room. He's he's watching Jay's game and he's giving him the attention he deserves. There's nothing more rude than the other player. Well, El Chupacabra yeah. has uh, reared its ugly head one more time, and you can see that he was trying to power that ball, and that's yeah. where the, the guys are getting bit. Yeah, you can't jam these pockets, man. They will not take it. Well, this is where Jay is going to start to second-guess his position. He thinks he's doing right by getting straighter in and he's going to start realizing that he needs to keep some angles. Now that'll slow him down and throw him off his game for a game or two. And that might be all that Mike needs to get in there and get his fingers in there and really grab a hold of everything yeah. and get a lead. Mike really knows the speed that this tables are playing on. He's going to cut this ball on the side, I believe. I don't think he's going to go for the bank. And it, if he does, it's a natural flat angle shot. You know, I think he made it two rails on him. Nope bent down. He went for it. Yeah, Jay has a nice stroke too. Sure does. Rolling the ball nice. You can tell he's a strong person. He's a strong player, you know, yep. mentally, physically. He's got uh, all the attributes. Won't be long. Won't be yeah, long now. Won't be long for him. And just like that, Jay takes a three to two lead. If you're just joining us, this is Inside Pools production of the Great Southern Billiard Tour. We're here at Michael's Billiards in Cincinnati. You're watching Jay Copeland and Mike Grooms in the hot seat match. The race is nine to seven with Mike going to nine and Jay needing seven games to win. The score is currently Copeland three, Grooms two. I'm J.R. Calvert. Joining me here in the booth is Alvin Nelson. Hi. Twenty-three point nine nine miles per hour. Balls pocketed. Got a little bit of a cluster down at the uh, end of the table there. You know what I really liked about that was the fact that he just stayed down on the shot and shot it like a shot. And 23.99 miles per hour on just, yeah, I mean, he hammered it. He hammered it, don't get me wrong. That was a great bank, by the way. Sure was, and he set himself up to where he can play a variety of different shots here. He's right. looking at all his options, but hide behind the three. Well, he wants to, to more than likely break yeah. the four away from the nine if he can. Oh, he's he's uh, electing to just tickle it. Maybe he's got a, an idea of a three foul. Yeah, he's going to give a uh, ball in hand to himself here. But the two ball is kind of close to the rail, so that can always give you a little extra, give you a little bit of extra angle there to get on to hit that two ball. Well, 
<clears throat> if you can get to that bottom rail, it'll give him a good chance of hitting the two. There he did that's it. That's how you shoot yep. that one. See, that's not a shot that a seven's supposed to recognize to hit. And he, what he was doing was effectively splitting up the balls and taking and making that two ball huge. Yep. He should not have hit that. I mean, that's a really tough one to hit. So you can tell he's got some skill. Ooh, and he, uh, overcut He's going to be rewarded, too. Well, he was being a little overzealous there, I think. Cutting that ball with inside English and trying to break up those balls. Granted, you're going to make it a lot of times, but you're allowed to miss it sometimes, and that's you pay the price when you do. Yeah, it looks like he's enjoying the comfort of his chair more than the Strauss of being in the, under the lights there. Some players will do that. They'll just uh, start enjoying relaxing in the chair. Watching the pool, <laughs> they become the spectator instead of the contestant. This could be a really terrific win for uh, Jay here, and probably kick him up to a nine if he can win this match. Getting down to look at it. Yeah. This is not the first time I've ever seen this Mike guy. I could, I could, I do recall now. I see him at a lot of the different shows over the years. We can hear Shannon talking 60 feet away, just like he's right next to us. Got quite a booming voice over there. I thought the, he was on the mic. Running the tournament. He's way over there. Well, we won't tease. Our tournament director. Yeah. Not when he's here, not here to defend right, himself. Right, right, right. We'll tease him when he's here, though. Okay. I don't like that shot he just played. He is going to have to do a little bit of moving with the cue ball here now that he's back cut. Well, he has to miss that nine if he's going to go round table. I guess he felt yeah. comfortable just rolling Sliding it in. Up. I would have tried maybe going up to the top rail and back down. Dog is taking a pull away lead here. Yeah, that's getting uh, to a point right now where Mike needs to, I think he needs to change something in the match. He has to, he has to do something drastic to kind of send a message off to Jay, or Jay is just going to say, hey, thanks for letting me beat on you. Yeah, welcome to my world. Yeah. You know, I might be a seven, but I'm here to really make things messed up for you. I'd like you to get lost in my game for a while. Well, 
Let's see what we got going on. 23. Uh, I'm going to go for 24. I say 23. 23.2. Wow. 26. Man. He laid into those ones. He sure did, and he got a ball. Two balls. Four and five. Well, he's got a long distance shot on this one that he has to bury. Q's going to have a natural tendency to go up past the deuce and have a funny angle on it, but I think he'll be all right if he just makes this shot. He might run into the two, but I doubt it. I think he's going to just come underneath the two rails. Well, interesting uh, approach there as they get to six and play the two-way safety. Really smart shot. Nice shot there. Well, you know, I can tell you right now, if I'm if I'm Jay and I get back to the table in this game, I'm going to think that this set's mine because this is the guy that started out this set that I was playing would have got out here. If Mike doesn't get out here, I'm thinking. He wants me to just take it off. He really knows how to pocket these balls on this table, man. Even though he's played some bad shots, this guy here, is, I mean, he just knows how to put them down. He's a great player. Man, he sure is. He's just unfortunately making a few errors for himself. But He'll just follow this around, go on down about where his, his chest is there. It's like the ball pockets are huge for this guy. I mean, he's really not even looking at the angles or anything. He's just, I guess he's just played so much pool in his life. He's got to hit this one with a lot of left-hand English and run into that nine and spin up for the eight. No, he got uh, he's in trouble now. Yeah, he's not happy. This is not good. He looks like he can see it, though. He might be able to get away with this. Yep, he sure did. Got Mr. Dalton stepping up here. gave us some information there. Yeah, we all got caught uh, not knowing uh, what what direction any, anything was going here, but, you know, either way, it's uh, these guys would have had to play in about an hour anyhow. And Shannon's just saying that it might have been a little early. All right, 25. 236 And I was wrong again. That had that bad sound to it. Yeah, he's going to say, why did I do that? Well, Jay's got a pretty, pretty weird safety that I like to play here. I, Unfortunately, there's a real problem is he might actually make the three trying to play it yep. but he actually believe it or not can nick this two with high right go three rails to the top of your screen 
run back down in between the eight and the rail down here and flop down behind the eight, four, five. Yeah, that's a cool shot. Um, and he kind of knows where the two's gonna end up. The three should not go too far, but he's tr planning to run short to miss the seven. I don't think he's gonna play the shot, but it's kinda nothing what, wrong with that shot there. Yeah, same idea as what you're saying. He just went about it a different way. I mean, he just went down to that side of the table a different way. I think... Uh, Man, he's gonna have a hard time hitting this ball. I think he's gonna hit it two rails. And if he catches the side that's towards the right, the cue can run down towards the four, in between the four nine. And the deuce will probably end up uh, maybe colliding with the three, maybe not. But that's what he wants to do. If he hits that two square in the face, he can put it in between the three eight and put it onto the bottom rail same speed and then that's how you play it it gives you a lot of options it's just the same speed I would not go at this one rail no 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 yeah the two rails gonna give you more chance of hitting it well, he's gonna go one rail so let's see what we got going on here and I don't like this shot at all just throwing the cue just let the cue loose go flying around well he has to get lucky here and he might just pull it off he did no, I think he gave he, him the whole ball. I, I don't think so. But you can see what I mean. He had to mash it to have those two balls split up. But they were always going to be on the same side of the table. And to get them to both go up that way and get behind balls, not good. I think he was taking a shot at the nine and just uh, trying to keep the cue behind a uh, seven there. But I don't know. It's it's hard to say. Yeah, it's hard to say. like to do here, Alvin? Um, short rail to the three ball. Try to kick the three up around the, uh, around the five. Now look at him. He's going to go for the jump cue here. And... Some young fan has a souvenir. <laughs> Yay! Look, Dad! Look at that guy. Well, it, it might take him a little while to get that from uh, you sign that retrieve this for that me? one. Have him sign it for me. Mike's giving it a nice little scrub on his t shirt there. Scrubbing the dirt off the ball. And it's back in the yard. Well, why don't you make a prediction here, Alvin? Uh, I'm predicting that he's going to get out. You soothsayer extraordinaire. Man, I don't know you how. I, 
right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how I got into this chair, who knows. <laughs> A lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and beers. He's not just good looks and famous, folks. It's the <laughs> gift of gab that gets him here. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. It'd be a really terrible commentary. <laughs> well, oh, and he jumped and moved and he, played safe. Oh, he's, he's got caught getting too straight in a couple of times and trying to stroke his way out of messes. And the, the big problem there when most people come down to that is that they don't know how the English or their stroke is going to affect that or how it's going to hit the, affect the line of their shot when they open it up that way. Well, either way, I think we're going to see an appearance from tournament director Shannon Dalton here. Here he comes. Well, there he. Wait, where's he at? Wait, wait. There he is. No, well, even he's a, avoiding the camera. Even Jay has said that he. Oh, nice, nice shot there. So, now he's got a really tough shot. I'd play safe here for sure. He's going to go away. And he sure did. Oh, he didn't get lucky. Oh, but he did. Huh. Well, this, is, this has been a struggling you know, game for both players. Nothing's really perfect in laying out there. That's a smart shot. I like that shot a lot. A lot of experience went into that shot. Oh, yeah. I think he's wow. made that. Man, things are just rolling this guy's way. Jay's, Jay's having a pretty good set. I just got to say that he's not out yet. Right, right. I mean, this is not, it isn't like he just got given a game. No. He, he's had some things go his way, but he's earning those games yeah, right he is. now. Yeah. Let's see what we got rolling here. He put a nice stroke shot on that. And I believe the eight goes past the nine here. It's just going to be a little touchy. He is going to have to really settle in if he wants to make sure he makes it. I sure don't like the combo. Oh, he's putting it right in there. Yeah, but you oh, it must have been straight in. You uh, definitely got to hit it like that, though. You can't roll that because it'll go off. First off, it'll go off, and your guy will be sitting there going, thanks for the gumball, Mickey. Wow, yeah. freebie. <laughs> What's Look, the score it's a here, Alvin? Stopper. Is it five to two in favor of Jay Copeland? I believe so. Old Mike better wake up. Well, I don't think it's a matter of waking up. I think it's just a matter of him getting a selection of shots that are giving him, throwing him for a loop. And that happens. There's nothing you can do about it. When, it. when you get a set where the other guy has good things happening to him and bad things happening to you, yep. 
expect the worst. All right, cut break, 25 miles an hour. Wing ball and ball up in the top corner. Going to make two balls. A little bit too hard. and he got, he got a good leave. Sometimes when things don't go right, they do. He's looking at this uh, kick the four ball down table to try to pocket the, or kick the one ball down and try to collide with the four maybe. No. Wow. Not sure what's He almost there. made what looked like an Efren-esque type of shot. Yeah. Trying to get tucked behind that eight there. Looks like it's combo time. Oh no, he's safety play. There we go. Banker Rooney. And he left him. Yeah, he must not want to win this game. I think he's starting to hit it with a little bit of give up. Yeah. I think he's ready for uh, Jay to get on the hill and go ahead and put it down. And give him another chance next time. Is the one nine wired now? We're gonna find out here in just a second. <laughs> I think that there's enough going on here. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff going on down here. Bloop 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 bloop. Yep. Smash into everything. Well, Mike isn't stroking these balls too well. He's just, you know, like I said, he's just giving up. He's walking out of the player arena a little bit. He's, he's, you know. He's obviously feeling the pressure. He yeah. knows that he has to win seven. And he can allow Jay to win one game, but he can't allow him to win two games at this point. Well, Jay will be on the hill after this one if he wins it. Well, if that happens, oh, I can tell you he's got a pretty easy off-the-rail shot, but I don't know whether he's just going to roll it in real soft and shoot the deuce up table. Well, he's hitting it with give. Give yeah, because he's walking away from the shot as soon as he's hit. Before the ball's leaving the end of the queue, he's walking away. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, you we're can out, go huh? ahead and give him the ball in hand. That's an easy way to do it. One or two people make comments about uh, Copeland's ability, you know, and that's a double-edged sword. You can't win or lose. You're either you're either a B player or you're not a B player, and that's only up to the tournament director to, the, to decide. But you see shots like that, and you understand he's on his way up. He sure is. He's done you know, a lot of work, you can tell. You get a guy who, who, who plays for years. Right. He's allowed to win a tournament to, before he gets moved up. And when you, you're never going to look as good as you look when you win or as bad as you look when you lose. That's the, that's the nature of this sport, any sport. So, yeah. I, you know, I, my, the only thing i got to say is don't judge him on his good shots alone or his bad shots alone. He's a seven. and he's, he, he may need to be moved up one day. Might be after this tournament. That's not my call. But I can tell you, I like his game. Yeah, I like me his. Too. I like his mental game. I like his physical me game. Too. And look what he's done. He's taken one of the guys that we were praising. You're right. And he's almost him had him run. give up out of the match. Yep. He's got him on the run for sure. And it's only five to two. Now that part of that could be coming from the the weight that he's got to give too. 
Right, right. But, hey. Well, I heard the gunfire cracking in this guy's arm, so I think he's waking up out of his slumber. I think the, uh, the man under the mountain, the king in the, under the mountain is coming out. Well, I, he's been popping these balls this whole rack here in two seconds. Well, I can just tell you, the Great Southern Tour Championship last week, Sean Putnam had Brian White 8-1. to one. Brian came back and won that set and went on to win the tournament from he that sure point. He played lights out, too. Look, you want to bet on that guy. Solid, solid player. Put money on that guy. I mean, and, yeah. you know, everybody's thinking, oh, he's just a nine. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, he ain't but Whatever, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, he player. came back and played great pool. Guy's in great shape mentally, physically. Uh, you can tell he plays his heart out, and he's, he, he deserved a win. And he beat uh, Alex Olinger, who was playing awesome, too. Well, I, for one, would like to see, you know, Mike recompose himself. Lay a nice break down here and see us have a good match. Yeah, at least get it a little bit closer. Three. Nice, one on the side. 23, right? I didn't get a proper reading on that one, folks. That is my fault. He's starting to run around now. Well, if he gets those little happy feet going. Yeah, he is. I think uh, people that are saying that uh, Jay might be underrated might start to wonder whether Mike's underrated. Yeah, look at this. In, in less than uh, five minutes, he's back up to almost even with uh, Jay here. Yeah. You know, I've seen stranger things happen. He sets, you, you get a guy who think you think he's totally out of it. And yep. the point I was making is last week, somebody was sitting beside me and said, oh, look at Brian, he's sleeping, he's out of it all the way. Meanwhile, I said, well, this set ain't over yet. I Come see back to look a half over. hour later, and, you know, Brian's almost won the set. How many times do you see that, though, the comebacks? Like, a lot. I mean, it just gets people inspired to be behind, I guess some players the pressure's on and they start playing uh -oh. even better under uh -oh. pressure oh he's good okay <laughs> so yeah like Very five minutes he's back to he's up to five to four a run out then a break and run out yep and that's how fast it goes yep well the king has woken He's marking like he's up to five now. Marked his coin at five. Yeah, I saw that. I was so just going to bring we that up. Here. We could be giving you guys some false information here, folks. It's hard to tell with the coins on the table. We're going to go with the players since they yeah. know better. Yeah, so it's a tie ball game, even though uh, Jay's only got to win two. Cut break, 24 miles an hour. He's going to pocket the wing ball and another ball up in the top right-hand corner. We got a little kiss there. About 23 and a half on that one. top of the four here. He'll be all right. Yeah, he can pocket ball as well. well he, this, the seven's not really in the game as much as you would think. Yeah, he definitely missed that one pretty, 
Huh. Well, he set him up with a bank. This guy's from Kentucky, so look for the bank. But if the seven gets in the way of the bank, that's the problem. Wow. He's talking over in the corner now. He's starting to do an Earl. like I was saying over and over again, the older you are, the better you play in pool. It's the exact opposite of any other sport. And I think this guy's experience is really showing here. Playing connect the dot shape though. That's a, that was a little bit funny. I don't yeah. know whether I'd have let that ball run into the seven. He's going to be all right now. He's freewheeling it, you know. He's just for his own his own style of freewheeling, a cautious freewheel. He runs out fast, man. This guy's two, three strokes. No more than six. about a five, six stroker. Yeah, he's good. Wow. He's getting his stroke on right yep. now. He's waking up, man. One of those, the pressure's on, guys. Time to time to pay the bills. The end of the month's coming, kind of guys. Well, Mike needs three, and Jay needs two. I think he's going to hit us with something a little bit harder. Let's see how he controls the cue ball. 24. Pretty good control. 21.35. Well, gave a little control away there. Or speed away to keep the control. Yeah, and he didn't make that ball he's been making. I play safe. Yeah, it's, that's a pretty good safe. I got to give him that. Yeah. And maybe able to go off the bottom rail here and get some action. I don't think he's got uh, any worries. He can just bend it in there, but let's see what he decides to do. That's a nice shot, nice. too. Great shot. Yeah. Now, I like to hit this shot with a lot of low left. Hit that one square in the face, throw it and bank it up into those other six balls and draw the cue back into the seven. Something like that, huh? That'll be it. Nice. Hey, now, it works. Exactly. Now, this one, you're supposed to go two rails. Right. Try and get that one to hit square in the face slap it up into the four and let the cue run across to the other side pocket there. But he's looking to go right in behind it and see if he can get action on the nine. So let's see if uh, his choice pays off. 
Well, wow, he shot the cheese. <laughs> he got the cheese rolling there. And wow. It. Awesome. I believe we've got a race to two on our hands here, folks. Nice. This has actually turned into a really great match. I love when they shoot the cheese like that and get lucky. Nothing better than getting lucky. It's not bad at all. See if I can get a reading on the brake speed. Twenty three point six eight. He's pretty consistent on his brake speeds. Well, what do you see here, Alvin? What's he looking at? You think he's trying to take the cue ball on down right. into that stack? Yeah, that's what I would do. Play the nine ball, a little ticky Draw rack. it, yeah, draw into those balls down there. Is that what he's looking at? I think that's what he he's looking at, yeah. Yeah. Pretty Amazing heavy shot. Duty, heavy duty draw stroke there. I think it'd be a lot of left-hand English to let that yeah, ball yeah. travel down there, and that way he can hit off the four or the five, and you still get action holding down towards it's the fun. Line. It's fun hitting those balls yeah. like that. As long as he hits the rail first. Yeah. Well, don't think he didn't want to do that, though. Yeah. Well. <laughs> There's a mess going on here. Something about the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Yeah, the cheese is right there, too. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to see a short game here. Yeah. A big, big pocket because it'll think click an, off the three. There's so much that can happen. An ordinary seven wouldn't have made, would have made that. Yeah. So there we go. I'd like to say great game, but <laughs> we're gonna save that one for next time. <laughs> hey, if that happens your way, you'll take it, right? Yep. I like the lucky. I like that. I mean, I do like it. Mike's not real happy now. Now it's going to be who holds serve. Yep. Twenty-three. Wow. Twenty-two point four two. Ah, what's this? We got the eight ball. Okay, got a so ball. Pocketed ball. He's got shape on the one with the, with the natural shape of the two. Well, this isn't a gimme, but uh, right. yeah, I'd, I'd say I think he can pocket this ball. Yeah, he, this guy's got a ton of experience. Oh, man, what a really nice shot that was. Yeah. Well, somebody wants it again. He wants yeah. to win this set now. Yeah, he's one of those I got to get, I got to come back from behind kind of guys to let their A game come out. The pressure is what, what gets this guy going. He's good under pressure. Well, I think he's going to try and take his ball in between the three and the four instead of on the side rail there. Wow. Nice that shot. One, that one wiped his feet off and gave him a little quick goodbye before he went, went down the hole. Now, my rule of thumb here is I'd always take this ball back up to where I could get an angle to the rail after shooting the four. But he, this might be one of those rare situations where I wouldn't mind just falling down to the rail on the four and just gliding up, you know, back to, you know, the rack area for the five. See, I don't like this angle. No. This angle is too shallow. And he's going to run into the nine no matter what. Well, no, he doesn't have to run into the nine. It's just he's going to really have to spin it or draw yeah, his draw ball it. back. And he's going to get pretty good. He got lucky off that rail, didn't he? He got the, the spin caught off the rail. But now he's kind of screwed, uh, in trouble with his angle. No, I think the angle's good. I think uh, he, he, he got out of that, you know, and that's fine. Now he might be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Now he is in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something looked funny with that. 
Okay, so he's just going to kick this ball up table. He's going to bring the cue ball back down around where the nine is. He made it. Well, if you're Jay, you're, this is not what you wanted to see no. after he rolled up on the six. You're thinking two balls on the table. What can he do to me? Yeah, he just gave me. He was just like, yeah, man. Wow, nice. Nice shot. Meanwhile, back you, at the ranch. Yeah, you can tell uh, Jay respects Mike's game a lot. Well, there's only one shot that I see here. What's it's it? What is it? Three rails. In behind the six. Yep. You're going to have to get the nine back into the game and hope that the six can replace where the cue is while you do this. But you shoot into the rail, three rails. I do not go two like he's doing. You go long and get in behind it. Yep, yep, yep. This can be trouble. Yeah, and sure he gave the ball in hand, and he's going to go ahead and give the, uh, give the rack away. Well, he's not so, conceding it, but he's going to make him shoot it. Right. Don't blame him. Well, that's the I hate money shot. Yep. Mike's going to go to the hill. It's going to be Groom Hill here in a minute. Okay, we could be watching the, uh, the end of a really great match coming up here shortly. All right, oh, Jay's breaking. Okay, well. He's on. He's got six. Okay. Pretty sure. He got all of that one. He put in a 23.69, and but he lost his lost his cue. So the problem that that Mike has right now is that two is going to need to squeak by the five, and he's checking it out now to see if it actually does go by. Yeah, it's Hill Hill. He's looking at it in another Hill Hill match on the TV table. That's the third in a row. I think yeah. we've got three in a row today. Wow. Meaning these guys want to win this. They're not just getting behind and then giving up. Now, if I'm if I'm Mike, I actually explore getting underneath this shot and shooting the two into the side pocket. Yeah, yeah. It's not as hard as what it looks like. There's right. actually a fairly large position area down there. And being that the five's the next ball, infinite possibilities infinite possibilities so uh, I, I really look at that here and I don't know whether he's explored that idea yet well, he's convinced that it's gonna go by I think it can I don't know why he did that. Okay, well, he could have very well gave up the game there. Yeah, I would much rather shoot hard position into a, you know, one square foot area than to try and squeak an object ball at a 45 degree angle on a 30 second of an inch line. Yeah, there was no way that ball was going. I don't know what he was doing there. Well, this is going to be, the, uh, I believe, the end of this match, as long as nothing else happens bad here. As they say, there's only four things that can go wrong now. <laughs> Soon to be three. Three things. <laughs> yeah. JR's book of funny sayings will be out soon. Look for it at Walden Books.
J.R. Calvert, My Life. A biography. Don't get me started on your limited bobblehead series. <laughs> Man, I would hate to see a bobblehead of me. Jeez. All right, here we go. No, this isn't, uh, like Ooh. I said, this is not a gimme. This is something where... Yeah. I don't like shooting this shot for the case. I'd want to be down another diamond or two. Yes. Ooh, I don't like this. He's taking way too much time. Yep, I knew it. He's going to leave a bank, and I think we're going to... I'm just going to go out on a limb. He's going to make his bank. Look at that. Look at that strut. Look at that. Jay's Man. just a little... He's, he's beating himself up. His road partner's making him feel good right now. But, uh, you know, great, great set either way. He didn't get back up off the ball, and he thought too much about the shot. Did you see him when he was down? He stroked it like ten times. You cannot do that. you got to do one, two, three, four, he's pop. being a little bit... He's, he's allowed to take an extra couple of strokes on that night. I like what Mike's doing here. Yeah, he's resetting. I think he's going to cut it in. I don't know whether he's really studied the shot as much as I like, but I think he already knows what he's doing with it. Sure is banking it in. Wow. There it great is. Great set. Great Man, set. great match. Great uh, match. I really enjoyed that. Thanks for commentating with me. And uh, We're inside Pool Magazine, and we appreciate you being here at the Great Southern Billiard Tour. We just watched a match with Jay Copeland and Mike Grooms. And we'll be back with more pool action. We'll have another match for you up on deck here in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care.